Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do the rest of this page, hopefully, that I was working on, I believe, last week. Wildflower Folks from Christine Karen. And get that set up again. We're going to be working on the flowers, the headset, and then all her hair, and then probably glitter somewhere. So this may be a longer video than I should probably do, but we're going to see if I can get it um, finished. So hold on and I'll get you down a little closer to the top of her head. Okay, we're going to start off with uh, the green tones that I pulled out. And I think I pulled out a little sepia too. I've got some hot pinks out or some soft pinks, whichever one you want to call it. They're all the Holbeins. And then we had the uh, blues out and they are um, the Derwent Light Fast that we're going to finish up the rest of this with. So first off, we're going to go in with the earth green we've already started on down here. Let's move some stuff. Desk is a mess. I had a card I had to finish for a friend of mine. And that kind of took up everything <laughs> on my desk for a while. There we go. We're just going to go where the shadow lines are already here. You see the line here? It's going to attach to here, and we're going to bring it down to the main vein that's in here somewhere. And then just bring up some of that color, darkest where that line is, and then just fade it out. And we want it darker right around this edge. And then get a sharp point and make it really dark right there. Then we'll just bring that line down. Up. And this area here is dark. So we're just going to darken it up. There's a line here. We're going to leave a little white on that side. Go where the line should be. Connect those two lines and darken the spot. Bring it out. Hills and valleys. I've talked about them before. It's been a while, but pick your hills and valleys. The valley here, a hill up here, hill up here, valley down here. Valleys are going to be dark. Hills are going to be light. It gives you kind of a movement in your leaf and or a dress if you're doing a dress. Same thing with the ruffles. Okay, and we'll just bring that line down. Attach it to the ear. We have another dark spot here. I'm going to have to turn the book. I'll hear everything go crinkle, crinkle. I want to get that line a little sharper there. And dark around her ear. Shadow here. we're having our little leaf come to life. Another little bit here and a shadow underneath the bloom here. Sorry, you'll hear maybe reeling in the background. She's locked out of the room. She's 
she gets a little uh, upset at me if I'm not paying attention to her. So instead of coloring, <laughs> I would be making sure she's not attacking things in my room. And I really wanted to get this page done. So we're taking some time here to do that. Meow. <laughs> There we go. We're going to bring in a little bit of, um, I'm going to find it, the wheat color in the um, Derwent Light Fast, and we're going to put that next to the green and pull it up to where the sh uh, hills are. And in here. Okay, then we're going to bring in do 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 do. A prisma color <laughs> green ochre. It's gonna add just a little bit of the uh, brighter color there into the shadowed areas. And just adds a little bit more fluff to it, I guess you want to call it. Then we're going to bring in a little bit of the white Holbein 501 Soft White. And we're just going to take it on some of those really light colors areas. Also add it on that stem just so you can see it a little better. And we'll go in here and work on these. I'm going to pull a little of that into the bud. Okay, same color we'll put in the wheat. Some of the prisma color. And then we'll bring in a little bit of the um, rose pink here, Holbein, tiny bit of luminous rose. I 
and just add that in. I'm going to put a little of this luminous rose on her cheek here. And her lip. I don't know if you can all see that. I just like to add that color down. If you're going to put it at the top, you might as well bring it on down. So all these are going to be down the same way. This is still the um, Luminous Rose. Valley here gets the darker color. Valley here. Just a little bit there to make it look more like a petal. Okay, bring in the green. It's just the earth green. Then we'll bring in the soft, uh, see if we have the cherry blossom pink. Sorry, I have to sh <laughs> sharpen that one. And we're just going to go over both the green and the pink here. And that'll get a nice blend. Also be bringing in a little of the white in here. Help with the petals. that down here too just to soften that up so that's how the leaves and the flowers are going to be done 
darken these over here a little bit. Looks like under her ear has to be darker. It's a shadow there. three colors we're using. Okay, when we come back we'll have all those done. Or at the end of the video they'll all be done. <laughs> So we're going to work on her hair next. So we've got the pink and the green up here. We've got the blue down here. I want to bring some of that blue up and I want to bring some of that pink down. So we're going to do that to her hair. I'll probably get out the blues. This is the light blue we used before. It's the uh, light aqua. And we're just going to bring some of that in here. I want to make that the highlight so you don't have to be so careful with it. And we go back in here. I'm going to bring in the Pacific Blue and in the dark spots shadowed areas pull in some hair down here. a little going down the neck. Okay, then we're going to add in some of the pink. So we're going to start off with the uh, cherry blossom just coming down here, which is our lightest color again. Oh, no, hold on a second. There, maybe you can see it a little better. Just going to bring that down. a little of that up in here. This one blue line is not quite where I want it, so I'm going to lighten that a little bit. I'm going to bring the light blue in in that area. And get it to come down a little bit. 
back up here and make sure you get a lot of that highlights up there. We're going to put white in there too, so... Kind of blend it a little bit. Okay, now we're going to bring in the pink. Uh, this is the rose pink. And then the <laughs> luminous rose. Well, I'm not going to go down so far because I'm going to get green in there too. The earth green. a little bit. I'm using the side of this pencil, not the tip, to do that. I just have a little more control over it that way. This is more of the valley here, and here, and this is the hill part right up here. That's why we're leaving that light and making this darker. Kind of gives you that fluff, pillowy, I'm sinking here kind of look. <laughs> and then just washing it out down here at the bottom to a light green. Okay, we'll bring up some of this green up into the pink, kind of mimicking the flowers that we did up here. It'll look a little dark and funny until we get the white in there. But I want to make sure the green goes up. And the pink comes down. So we're going to go back in with the a little bit rose pink here. It's a lighter pink. Make sure it goes right in into that green. And into the blue. Okay, then we'll bring in the 
cherry blossom. Okay, now the white. I left some light areas here and we're just going to take those light areas, bring them around, down, and then we'll take them up. Going up in the hair up here, sorry. Get the duster here. Get a little better down in here. A little work over here on her arms to lighten those up a bit. for a little while. We're going to take in um, what is this one? Beige Red, which is your light flesh. And add a little more of that down in here. like her stomach. And I want to give her a little movement here. I'm going to bring in some of that into her arm here. And a little bit back here to show she has an arm that comes through here. And a little back here show she has an arm coming through there. That takes a lot of pressure because we put a lot of layers on that. Okay, we're going to throw a little bit of the um, soft pink. So that's cherry blossom. And we're going to add that in here.
darken her palms a little bit. Add it into her ears. Okay, we've got to do our eyebrows. I'm going to do them green. I can either do, I think I'll do them pink. So we'll take that cherry blossom in here. And right under her eyes. Then we'll take the uh, rose pink. And the um, luminous rose. Just a touch of the light blue. See if I can find the light blue. I gotta sharpen that. And put it on the top of the eyebrows up here. Adding it here on the arms and bringing it up. Okay, we're going to bring in dark sepia here. We're going to darken some areas where we need to have shadows. Right here under her hairline. Her neck. I'll do one side and then I'll do the rest of it off camera so you can see the difference between the shadowing and not. We're just going to go up a little bit on the face here, not all the way around, but a little up and lightly fade that out. The ear is behind the hair here, so we're going to darken that. I'm just very lightly putting that color down can emphasize the little fold in the ear. We're going to darken this little area here where this hair comes down. Okay, 
underneath the leaf here. There can under here. If you hear noise, that's my watch. I'm not answering a phone call. <laughs> okay, take it all the way up and darken that green leaf a little bit. Down where the hands are, you can draw the line where the thumb comes in and then just darken this little area here again going very lightly just to tone that hair down darker so you can see the hand we do that all the way down on this line And we're going to darken this line. And we can bring that line right through that blue, making it look a little more transparent. Leaf is going to get a little bit of it right under here, then here, just to darken that up. Little here, little here, and then this fine that comes down, we're going to darken under it. Add a line and you're gonna have to fix it because it's dark color just bring that line down a little bit more get this portion of the leaf darker
just keep shadowing everything. Okay, we're also going to darken under her eyebrows here. tell the difference between the two sides I hope and look we'll it down here and darken these two <laughs> Quit messing around there. So I'm going to pause it now and finish off the leaves in the top, and then I'll show you how I finish the page. Okay, all the leaves are done. We're going to do an inking in the background. I don't think I need this paper for that. We're going to use a uh, tumbled glass and maybe a little salty ocean, depending on which one looks better. I've already used this ink pad um, with a darker blue on this side and a lighter blue on this side so there might be a little darker blue going on than this. It all depends on what's left on these. A lot of people ask about uh, their inks drying up. I always leave the pads wet so if I ink on something, I just put it away like this, so it's always loaded. You can tell it's loaded all the way down. 
into the black area down here. So when I'm going in, in fact, if I put it down now, you'll probably get some ink off of it right there. So it all depends on, um, see how much ink is coming off? I never let it dry completely. You are able to wash these, but I prefer to have the ink already loaded on here so I don't have to spend time doing that. So I'm just going to go in here with the tumbled, whatever it is, glass here. Like I said, that was probably darker. And then just put some of this down here. She's actually, you know, coming out of the water, so we might as well just add it in there, right? It's going to cover those little dots, but that's okay. We're going to put um, stickles in them. I'm not going to worry about even the dots that are in there. I might put some Posca on it. So I just go around. I don't load this like, you know, that'll dredge the ink in there. I kind of basically put it on one side. I go around the edges of the paper. You can go in here. It's not going to hurt that much. It will cover a tiny bit, but it not a whole lot. So if you want a little more shadowing in here, you just put the blue down and do that. When I'm putting it on the paper, I am not putting much pressure on this at all. It's like um, like a feather touch until I get into the darker areas where I want it darker, so I'll push a little more pressure on. But out here, it's just really light pressure. I've been using these inks for, I don't know, 10 years <laughs> probably by now. So I know when to darken them and when to lighten them but it does take some practice. Okay, then we're gonna go down here and put it in this area. Just add the blue down at the bottom. There we go. Now I got out the salty ocean because it is a little bit darker. And I'm gonna take some of that and put it in like the shadowy areas where I want it darker. I do it with the ink pad that's already here, so those two colors will actually blend on the ink uh, padding here, on the tool that I'm using. Maybe a little more over here. If I put it in the flower and I get on the flower, I just put a little on that flower. Depending on what um, pencils you are using, I'll put a little in her hair too so we have the same color coming down. Uh, what pencils you're using, there's a difference in the, I'm going to put a little here on her chest too. I'm trying to say, <laughs> if more wax on your pencil, the less it will cover. I happen to like adding the same colors everywhere, so I'll put it just on the picture anywhere I want to put it. it. Tends to look nice, makes it more cohesive. Okay, we're going to take a little water if I can figure out where Rory put my water. I've made her a little bed up on my uh, Calyx unit here. And she will sleep up there while I'm doing my work. But if I'm making a video and chatting, she won't. <laughs> she will lean over and start knocking things off because I'm not paying attention to her. Which becomes, you know, more of me yelling at her than getting my pictures done. Okay, in the video, my last video, I left a picture of her up there in her new little bed. There we go. That just lifts some of the ink, kind of giving you that, I don't know, bubbly color that we got going on anyway. Then we have, um, do I have two of these? It's kind of wet, so I could wait for it really to dry before I do this, but I'm gonna try to get all that water off the page. 
And no, that won't uh, bleed through very much here. We've got some, but that's water. It's not the blue ink. This is the Copic that I used before. Or, uh, yeah, Copic for the skin and Ahu uh -huh markers for everything else. So we're going to take our Posca pen. Hopefully it works. I'm not sure on these sometimes. Whoa, that spilled out a lot of ink. And we're going to put some dots in here. Those are big dots. At least that one was. I'm going to put some on that. I'll get them white. Then I'll go over them with the stickles. So I don't like the black sometimes showing through, especially if I'm doing underwater or water bubbles. I'll add some up in here. Since we have a whole bunch of them here, we have some color in some. We'll leave those alone. Try not to get our hands in the ones that we uh, got really big and wet. Boy, that's a big, 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 big one. We'll take some of that out. That would take a lot of that out. <laughs> mean that to get too big but you know I like to leave my boo-boos in so you can see how they get fixed Let's see, I can't hear there don't have to be perfect on this if you're gonna put stickles on it'll have glitter in it and it'll cover up some of those scratchy marks on them. Just remember that coloring is relaxing and fun, so don't stress out about it. A little on her eyes. I'll put some down here.
make that one a little bit bigger. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Got stickles out on my desk, but they're gold and silver. Don't know if I want her silver. Um, do we have any other color? Yeah, I like a bronze. <laughs> I think I'd rather have her be silver. I had to put everything away with this kitty cat. She likes to play with everything. Um, what are you? I don't know if there's enough in there for that. I have to buy another one of those stardust ones. They've got a real pretty blue in it. Uh, we'll go with gold, I guess. Um, diamonds, not gold. It's just got more gold in it. I don't see any other ones down here. So, Stickles is just a glitter glue. It comes from Ranger. Tim Holtz. We're going to make some big ones and little ones. Just over the uh, white that we just did. Add some in here. The uh, pink, green, blue dots will have a different shade than and the skin colored ones than the um, colored ones we just did. Come on. Need more than that. Got a whole page to do. <laughs> That's the bottom of the page. Go up to the top. Okay, now we have a choice of doing uh, some more glitter on either her skin, the leaves, or her face. We can do a little about the eyes here. Maybe. There we go. Gonna get down here to see a little better. Just tiny little dots, don't squeeze too much on those little tiny dots that we put around here. Put a little on her lip. I think that'll be enough there. And we'll put some on these flowers. Just kind of draw it and drag it on the petal. We'll leave the big one alone because it has some. And we'll do the stems so they stand out a little more. And these grass things. These little curls on these leaves. Yeah, not that one. Mm -hmm. Just add a little bit. 
in the hair here. And then on her shoulder, just a touch. <laughs> just need a little more. There we go. So I did it on that one. I'm going to do it on this one. There we go. I think I'll have to order some more of that. So, there we've got the picture. With the lights on, you can see the glitter. I'm pretty sure. There we go. So it's all on there. I will take a picture after it dries and leave it at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take care everyone. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Bye now.